Hey, hey, what is up, Credit Movement community? It's Ryan, and this is episode 100. I can't believe it. I want to thank all of you guys for your support, the feedback that I've been given. Um, it fuels me every day um, when I hear the stories of people's scores going up 100 points or more and using the tips and tricks. So thank you guys, um, and I'm so happy to provide you the information that I've learned and sharing it with you and, and, and helping you and your families. So um, I want to talk about zombie debt today. Zombie debt, you guys, what that means is there's two statutes of limitations. There's a statute of how long things can report to the credit bureaus, which is seven years for collections. And then each state um, has its own statute of limitations of how long a collection agency or creditor has to sue you, take you to court, garnish your wages, things like that. Most states it's four years, but you can just Google it and find out what the statute of limitations is on debt collection in your state. So let's say it's four years and you're being contacted by a collection agency even though the debt is older than four years. And by the way, that date is from the date of your last payment or the date of first delinquency, okay? So that's where the, the date comes from. So that four years starts at the date of first delinquency or your last payment. What I, what I wanna warn you guys of is the first thing for that you need to do is send a debt verification or validation letter. And I've shared that on the page before. If you want a copy of a debt ver validation letter, email, um, send me your email to a private message. So don't put it in the comments here, but uh, send me a private message with your email address. I'll send that to you along with some other letters that'll help you. Um, so the first thing you need to do is get a validation of the debt. And this letter is written very specifically because you don't want to confirm that the debt is yours. The burden of proof is on them to prove that you owe it, right? Um, so you never want to confirm it. You also never want to make a payment on a zombie debt, on a debt that is old, because it resets the clock. Now they have four more years to collect and sue you and do all those things. So that's what you need to do with zombie debt. You need to validate it, you need to dispute it, you need to work to get that off of there or make the collection agency prove that you owe them any money to begin with. So I hope this helps you guys out. Thanks for making it through 100 episodes with me. I really, really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, please tag your friends. Let's help spread the credit movement and get all these 100 episodes in front of uh, um, as many people as possible. Um, share our posts. Be sure to like and follow our page. And as always, guys, keep coming back for more.